Good morning, my darlings. It's the morning after our work Christmas do. I'm feeling a little bit delicate, so here's a beautiful view of our garden. <laughs> Which is a lot more beautiful than a view of me right now. <laughs> I'm so grateful that we had that snow last week. It was almost a week ago, wasn't it? I feel like it's just made Vlogmas extra festive this year. Ooh. I think it's currently minus seven. It's a little bit cold on my pores, I have to say. because I have never, honestly, I don't think I've ever known the views to be so beautiful. The light today is just magical. My brother's actually here for the day slash night, and I think we're going to head out for a snowball fight later, because that's what you do with your siblings, isn't it? <laughs> I think we'll head out into the field a bit later on, but I have tragically got a little bit of work to wrap up. Look at this. Look at this winter wonderland. We've got Martin downstairs putting the hooks in so that I can finally put up my garland, which I'll do later on today. Um, and I just, while my moisturiser was sinking in this morning, I just added some, I don't know if you can see, um, sparkly gold tips to my nails. I had them gel, the gel done um, by Nicole from the Ruby app using the Sally first time colour a couple of days ago, you might have seen that in a vlog, um, but I wanted to add the festive tips and I've got this lovely gold sparkly Dior nail varnish, um, it's very subtle, just a very subtle festive, a festive French I'm going to call it, <gasps> Ooh, what day is it today? What day is it today? Good morning my darlings, welcome to a new day of vlogmas, as you can see. <laughs> It's just the most magical day today. It is clear blue skies, minus seven, but because the sun is shining down, it really doesn't feel that cold at all. Or maybe that is the fact that I've got three layers of lovely toasty thermals on. Um, but I just want to make the most of this glorious day because I've got a feeling tomorrow might be the last lovely snow day. Um, and then it's due to rain on Sunday, but we've had an entire week of this gloriousness. So I think we're gonna head out for a snowy, scenic drive. And I've packed a couple of different coats in the car, or I'm about to pack a couple of different coats in the car, just to try and get some nice, cozy, uh, snowy photos for the gram. So that is the plan. But I mean, just look at this, look at this setting right now. It is pure magic. My very own Narnia in our back garden. Oh, I just love it. I wish we could have snow more often in winter. If it could just snow for the whole of Vlogmas. Alternate days of snowing and then clear blue skies would be the dream. And look, we're not even frozen. Fantastic. Guys, this is a tragedy. I've just found one of my gorgeous Lueve gloves here in the car. And I reckon that when we left Soho Farmhouse at midnight a couple of nights ago, I reckon they were on my chair, slid them down here, and one of them's fallen out. <laughs> oh my god, that is the worst thing. That is so, so tragic. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, oh I'm very sad. I'm going to call Farmhouse because... Hopefully someone might have rescued it. Fingers, cross your fingers for me, darlings. Well, a slight change of plan. Um, the guys that have been digging up <laughs> our lane for the last five days now are now tarmacking, so we very much cannot <laughs> leave the property. So um, taking photos out and about, sadly, is not gonna happen, at least for a little while. Um, so we've just taken a couple of snaps 
just out here on the lane, which is really beautiful. I mean, it really does look so magical. Um, it's starting to get really cold now today. It was warmer earlier when the sun was like pouring down, but it's a little bit hazy now. Still absolutely beautiful. But while we wait for the tarmacking to get done, I think I'm going to put up my Christmas garland between the kitchen and the um, family room. That is something I've been wanting to do for a while now, but we've got Martin over who has drilled the relevant hooks in the wall. So um, yes, let's see if we can do that. I think I need to lace some lights around the garland first before I put them up so I might see if I can rope in my brother to help it's that constant dripping noise oh hoo -hoo. and um, the snow is most definitely melting it's now a grand total of one degree out here but that is the first time it's been above freezing in a while so it's no surprise that it's starting to slowly but surely melt away no Okay darlings, this is the task that I've wanted to do all day. I'm finally gonna get around to doing it. So we have now got hooks in the lovely elm beam going across there and the two oak down beams. And I'm not gonna lie, it took a little bit of persuading of uh, me to Charlie to put these hooks in. However, the ceiling of the deal was that in here in our dining room, this hook here was was always here um, and we did a little bit of research and there's actually a blacksmith in our village called Birdie and he made these hooks originally for the house probably about 50 years ago and he was able to make pretty much the exact same hooks again so we've got a stocking on this fireplace in the dining room and then this is the hook that he made to replicate it we've got another stocking hook hung another stocking hung up in here. So we've got six of these and six slightly more decorative versions, um, which are now above the oak beam in the kitchen. So, I'm sorry, I can't resist another window shot because it is looking so magical. Okay, so these are my green string lights from Amazon. They will plug into the wall and I'll plug them in there. Um, I think I'm just going to test that they are a nice golden warm glow colour because can you imagine if I added them all in and they were just an awful bluey light, not what we want. And then I think I'll just weave them quite messily around the various garlands. Maybe I'll quickly hang the garlands up first just to make sure they're right. Then I'll pull them down again um, and weave the lights. I think that is my plan of action. But first of all, let's test these. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So while I've been busy in the kitchen, Charlie, Jay, what have you been doing? Team, teamwork. Team teamwork. Work. Thanks, Fear. Fear eyes. My brother-in-law. Yeah. We've been, um, so the, this rug, a little fact for you, these are what they have at Heckfield Place. Oh, do we have to water it? No, but it's oh. a natural reed product. Okay. It's called Waverly Rush, so it's bull rushes. It's been six months in the making. Wizards of Waverly so Rush. It's by hand. This is, this was actually ordered for our bedroom. Right. Which is obviously above here, so the dimensions are almost identical. Oh, but of we, course. We, initially, we were going to have this in our bedroom. Yeah. We home rugs over the top. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to see what it looked like based on that and then get it in here but because it's Christmas already it's um, Christmas this room is more of a priority yes and I think it does make the room feel instantly cosy it does it's lovely let's get the it's like proper the proper reeds it's not soft it's like thick woven so this is the only thing because you said about in the bedroom mm. with bare feet and stuff but equally with the Soho home rugs now mm. You're getting out onto those, so yeah. imagine those being on top of this. The only thing I'm going to say about this is that this is the room where people wear stilettos, and so it is going to look like it's going to get pulled. We'll see how, how it goes. We have yeah. to say to people, maybe they're not allowed to wear stilettos. Or somewhere. maybe we just have like a bowl in there of those little grass yeah. stoppers, and we just say to people, look, come in wearing your stilettos, but put the cork stoppers on. We'll see how we go. You can't yeah. design a house around Daddy, it. Daddy, I can't wait to, um, what's the word? You are not I can't word, I can't, I can't wait to do a tingle on it. I'm going to see my Uncle Jay. I love I love my Uncle Jay. Jay. He gives really good cuddles and I love He's to kiss him. He's best friend. Best friends. He's lovely. Right, I'm going to continue my mission. Oops. 
Okay, it requires a little bit more maneuvering than I had initially anticipated. So I've got my trusty floristry wire and I'm going to try kind of skewering it, <laughs> skewering it to the beam. Okay, my darlings, this is the process. Oops, sorry, that was me kicking the kitchen chair. This is the progress so far. I think I've just about got the structure. You'll have seen from the time lapse, it was a little bit of a faff. Oh, he's got his pump out. He's got his, what, what are you, right, okay. You've clearly had a lot of practice of that, mate. What are you pumping now? Oh, right, oh my goodness. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie is misting the Christmas decorations. This, this is what Fiona, who did it for us, said. Mm -hmm. Keep it sort of looking what's almost keeping good. Keeping okay, good. wonderful. So, we've also had a lot of, because Martin the Handyman was here today, and... I don't think we can call Martin just the Handyman. He is the of, handiest of he, men. He is a jack of all trades and a master of all of these. Master right? of many, yeah, he's wonderful. And he um, put lots of oh, h hooks in walls for us today. Do you know and what it smells like? Christmas? No, do you know it's really specific? If anyone's ever been on the E.T. ride in Florida, <laughs> it smells like that. That is very specific. I've just noticed I've left a little bit of blue string up there. There's quite a lot of wire sticking out. Oh, don't worry, I haven't finished yet, mate. Right, would you like to show us what else has been done today? That's looking healthy already. In the house? Yeah, let's do it. Right, starting with the drawing room. Yep. Now, I do also think we can do lights in this, this thing next year, not this year. Yeah. I think it'll be too much. It's a bit messy in here because we're doing our wrapping tomorrow. Yeah. So it's a bit messy, but we've had this new rug, which you, we showed earlier, didn't we? Yep. So it's from Waverley Rush. Mm -hmm. As I said, I think it's a family-run business. Oh, lovely. Um, so yeah, really good communication. Mm -hmm. Obviously it was quite pricey, but we'll hopefully have it forever. Mm. And I think the key, we would never have something like this through in that part of the house where the dogs sort of live. Ugh. Obviously they come in here when we're in here, mm -hmm. hopefully it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got things like people spilling drinks, but you can't, you can't design your house around that. No. I looks think good. it looks nice, doesn't it? And it's very comfortable underfoot, especially when the other rug is laid over the top. It really makes the room feel cosier as well. It's hard because it's so messy in here now, but when mm. it was finished, mm -hmm. the room felt cosy already. Yeah. And we couldn't really have gone any bigger because of this weird wall. Mm. So this is literally almost touching this. So you did actually measure it? Well, the joke is, of course, I measured our bedroom, and our bedroom is ah, exactly the same dimensions. Yeah. Or almost exactly. Makes sense. Um, I think it looks great. We didn't want it to be any closer to the fire mm. for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, I mean, We're we, showing if, everyone's Christmas gifts. Yeah. I'm not allowing it. I, I've lined them all up with my OCD so that I know who's getting what. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, this room is still a work in progress. We've got our dream so This is on loan from George Smith. Our dream sofa being designed that'll be a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I think, therefore, it needs to go there where you are. Yeah. Then that creates a bit of a challenge for this. So I think we could try this over here. It has got a high back, but how high is the back? It's not crazy. Too high to go at the end of our bed. Yeah, but potentially like not too <laughs> Is that high. how you measure things? Yeah, that's exactly how I measure things. Uh, and that is why... the Charlie School of Measuring. Um, no, obviously, but I, that could go over here and then I could... This is what it's happens almost... every day at 5 pm. It's anxiety inducing. Actually. It's not actually, because my Vlogmas videos are always very well prepared. But what do you think? And then these, I think, this is the idea I had all along. These, I reckon, could live here. You're joking me. Um, That's and then my I feel idea. Like the room will feel a bit more complete. And then the idea, hear me out, this lovely antique, I absolutely adore the legs on it. George Smith make poofs, but with modern legs. Mm -hmm. So my proposal is that we get them to make our large poof and use the legs off that. Right. So we cut that up. Come on, you poof. Let's go and have a look at the other bits. Yep. Genuinely, what do you think? Yep, I think it's great. Because then we idea. use the legs from that. And lovely. we keep all that lovely wood and we just get rid of this. And they use 
if they cut it there, then we they're able to use it. Mm-hmm. Right. Next. Got a new book, by the way. Book from Daly's Border. Daly's Ford. Oh. It made me sad. But Queenie, yeah. is that a doggy on the front? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, it's, it's corgi. It's lovely. I want our queen back. Mm. First Christmas. Oh my gosh, it's going to be the king's speech this year. Yeah. Not the queen's speech. Oh, that's going to be weird. It is. Oh, that gives me goosebumps. The pen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prince Charles is not good with a pen. I look here, here, here. I, I, I'm starting to warm to Prince Charles. I just missed King Charles, actually. Right, right. up we go. We go fella. Fella. Okay, just a little new addition in here. Just a new addition, this, this over here. I like this because I feel like you're looking out and that's what it is actually down, yeah. light down there. Um, Lovely. So that, and that frame sort of matches just need the ones to here, look, isn't put it? put my Vlogmas live. So every day at 5 p.m. I go into my YouTube. I go into YouTube studio. I find the blog. And I set it to public. There we go. Vlogmas day 16 is live. Did that work? Yeah, perfect. Right, where next, mate? Then also the most random thing, but it is genius, is, uh, is the doorstop. Door it's stopper. much better That's than the ones that sit on the wall. Nice doorstop. Yeah, I've got it on Amazon. Is this the riveting content that everyone expected yeah. when they tuned into Vlogmas? Well, you know, we're getting to the end of Vlogmas now, aren't we? No, we're so. not. We've got another, like, eight days. We've right, got we've in. got eight days come worth in, of absolute dribble. <laughs> dribble to share with everyone. Okay. In our office, we've got a lovely new addition. This was one of Charlie's very goodest, goodest of decisions, best decisions. We've got a lovely, very traditional, old-fashioned looking clock. It's, which called a, it's called a ship's clock. Ship's it's clock. The, I don't know why why these are ship's clocks, but the design of them, where they're out from the wall. Mm. And I, I like it, because if you listen, you wouldn't want that in your bedroom, but it's got quite a satisfying noise. For the office, I think. Lovely. Yeah, happy with that. I wonder if you can get a clock that was on the Titanic. Well, you'd have to go swimming. Um, get that one. Uh, no, it looks lovely though. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? And it really fits in so nicely with the panelling. Looks yeah. like it was always meant to be there. Yeah, I was a bit nervous about putting something into the old panelling, but then actually it felt a bit, it kind of, I don't know, it felt a bit unfinished there, didn't it? Mm. And then finally... Next. This, this really is, like, this This has been in the mood for ages, these sort of things, hasn't it? Like, in mm. terms of finding the right pieces of artwork. I'm a lot happier with it. Mm-hmm. So we have a bit more artwork on the staircase here, don't we? Yep, <laughs> including a sausage sausage staircase. Sketch. It's a darker colour, by the way. Nah. Do you know? The stairs need to be light, otherwise I will fall down them. True. So this sort of has isn't finished. If this is finished, and then this, I feel like we need something more cascading down. Maybe. Or potentially, I've seen a farmhouse where they have maybe so maybe that stays there, maybe they have a piece of artwork and a mirror. Mm. And a mirror and a piece of artwork. And mm. it's called a light, it's it's not quite like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm rather obsessed with these because we've got a lot of like landscape things. I like these little caricatures. Yeah. This guy's called Hugo Guinness. I'm going to make the uh, gingerbread uh, defender tomorrow. Right. And yeah. then look, we've got a map of Oxfordshire. That's cool. Obviously, we live on the edge of Oxfordshire, Warwickshire, so our village isn't actually on here. It's just on Oh, here. no! What, what's the closest bit? Well, Straw Top's on here. So you've got Banbury, and we're over, I believe we're over here somewhere in Warwickshire. But you've got we've got all the key places. You've got Chipping Norton, you've got Kitlock Kingham, where Dalesford is. Mm -hmm. um, Chadlington, that's where uh, Jenny Clarkson, Clarkson lives. Um, and then if you work your way round, there's Adderbury. Where's Adderbury? Where's Bicester? Where's the cottages? Letchlade, that's where Kate Moss lives. Yep. Slash Farringdon. Oh, here we go, Adderbury. So that's where Straw Top is. Mm. So the thing is, I, 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 I always wanted one that has our location. Soho anybody. Farmhouse? Yeah, that would be in here somewhere. I think it just says... To Because it's the old words, some of these as well. Mm. But anyway, I thought it was quite cool. I, you know, I wasn't initially mad on the frame. Oh, I like it. But now it's I like it. It's kind of old school. Yeah. Yeah, I got I this like from, um, so that's from Station Mill as well. Mm. And then, yeah, so I'm pretty happy actually. Wonderful. All these little touches start to make it make a difference. Yeah. Don't they? You're very good at these little touches. I don't know. I think I, I'm getting better. I think mm. I made a lot of mistakes early on. 
to be honest just your lack take, of measuring that was a bit door knobby no but we also just take i think take huge inspiration from places like dalesford like soho farmhouse like time mm. hopefully we'll stay if we can we can justify doing it stay at a few hotels next year like the pigs Mm. Have and really the new interior design, the new. Oh, that would be my best advice, actually, because rather than spending all money on an interior designer, just go and enjoy you'd be nice hotels. Be money staying in luxury hotels and then nicking ideas from them. Mm. Far better. Yeah. And then you get the enjoyable stay. Exactly. Um, so yeah. Got that feeling like before I picked up the camera, I was doing something really important, and now I can't remember what my that was. I now have my to-do list on my notes. I worked out. I started writing that. Uh, in December of last year, because at the very bottom oh my gosh. is order turkey, and mm. that would have been from last year. And that's how like, I've, I've just added to the top. Have you added? Have you ordered the turkey? I have ordered the turkey. Yeah. All done. Very much. Right. I'm going to try go, and right, figure right, out what I'm, on, what I was meant to be doing. Crack on a bitch. Crack on a bitch. Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We're standing under the mistletoe Okay my darlings, obviously it needs a little bit of tweaking because we're a bit lower down here than we are on the other side but my vision has finally come to life. Oh my gosh. When I, when I tell you it has been an emotional roller coaster <laughs> trying to get this up. Yeah, it's quite skew F. I think I need to, yeah, I definitely need to straighten the, the top left. It looks a little bit silly. I'm gonna sort that in the morning after my coffee because I'm no good to anyone after 6 p.m. Uh, it's only five to six. <laughs> that says it all. But I love it. I love the effect. I love that it's just, the most beautiful festive vista looking through into the family room where the dogs are snoozing and the fire is lit and this really is the space that everyone spends a lot of time during the Christmas period and we don't have a Christmas tree in this room so I think it's a really nice nod to a kind of Christmas tree effect and then of course we have got the lovely um, spruce dangly bits on the either side of the fireplace they look great as well. Dexy's about to help me with some editing and chicken. You're just such good little helpers. I'm so grateful for you. Mummy, I was snoozing. You've disturbed me and I'm not happy about it, but I will show you my lovely paw. Dexy, that is the neatest paw I've ever seen in my life. What a lovely pod, pod, pod. The great news is my brother has just driven to Greedy's fish and chip shop in Stow on the Wold. So I'm having I'm having battered sausage for my dinner, Dexy. Which does mean oh, little poser. Which does mean that you might get a little bit of sausage as well. Boop. Daddy, I'm just modelling the uh, the new fur archway. I'm just modelling it. What do you think, Lynn? much posher than where I grew up. Oh, he's lovely. What do you think, Chick-fil-A? I wonder how many nicknames Dickens has had over Vlogmas. My little Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, competition for the huh? best nickname for Chick. Diggy diggy. Diggy Lynn. Diggy Lynn. I like to call him my small. Small. Hello, small. I call him my floof. My fluffy boot, my fluffy chessy, my little badger, my little bunny, my sweet boon, my handsome Dixie. Right, advent calendar time. Okay. Advent calendar time. Well, we, we have fallen behind, haven't we? Yeah. So you have four to do today. So you've got the 14th, 15th, no, 13th, 14th, 15th and 16th. 14th? So 13, I think you've got first. 13. Okay. Unlucky number 13. It's my lucky number. How do you get Dicky to spin? Spin? On the Peloton? Don't turn your Peloton. How do you get Dicky to spin? Oh, yes! Hey. The spinning boy. Okay, I thought you meant pedal spin. No. Right, so there's something by the dog treats. Another great hiding place if you are a priest. 
maybe in the gold bedroom. Could maybe. be. Maybe, okay, that'll be a little hunt. Um, number fifteen. This is a bit of a speed round, this one, and then we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna catch up by doing them day by day now, aren't we? Perfect seat for a Sunday snooze. That could be in the drawing room. Where do we tend to spend Sundays, though? In the living room, in yeah. the family room. Okay, and sixteen. I love the clues, mate. Sixteen down here. The only way to get to the original kitchen. Okay. Yeah? Yes. You're I'm armed ready. and you're ready. That was an easy I'm one to be fair. Right. right. So we'll start what? off by the priest the other place that the priest could hide. Yeah. So it's potentially down here. Maybe. Can't actually remember what's in here. If I was a priest, I would hide in here. One of these two. Eh, eh. Right, next. Next. Uh -huh. oh, wow. So it's a mute it's got biscuits in, but I thought, given your penchant for your okay. new obsession for a baking, it makes a noise, hopefully. What? Fort the Mason. So let's have a go. Let does it do it? How do you do it? Oh. Yeah. How does it how does it work? And I thought we'd obviously keep it for Christmas when you do your baking, but it's quite a big tin as well. I imagine, I think it's got, I think it's stuck down, so. You can have these fab pudding. That's yeah. beautiful. That's the fanciest cake tonight I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so maybe keep it for Christmas, biscuits yeah. and stuff. Gorgeous. Cool. And somebody asked what these are. Yeah. So these are my favourite sweets in the whole world. They are trolley burgers. So they are essentially like a jelly burger and... You get all these five layers of goodness. And they're quite hard to get in the UK, they actually. They don't, so there's not many places send them. I think I got them from the US, yeah. Nice. Okay, so right. next is where we get Dickie to spin. And Dickie always does a spin when he's about to have a treat. So it's a good, good way of taking that down, actually. Yep, perfect. Let's go. Let's go down this way. This is such a good little tour of the house, yeah. isn't it? We'll go Going here. down the secret door. Oh, turn that. Yep, here yep. we go. Painting. There is an artwork. This is gorgeous, Dan. It's a Mason. Well, I, I searched and searched for a musical biscuit tin, as in one without biscuits, and it didn't really exist. So you kind of had to go and get one that. Now we might set off the boys. Yeah, yeah well they're gonna they're gonna need as soon as you go anywhere near this cupboard, Dexter and Dickens mm. are on. They just know. Genius. Let's so see clever. Make Dickie spin. Lee. Right. Dickens. Are we going to spin? spin we're going to get a treat. Oh, this oh, one spin. Baby. It's a really... Are we going to spin? I'm going to give you half a treat each. Oh. Lucky little boys, mummy. We don't know the difference. Straight off. We're totally clueless. Right. Lazy brunch. In stock. Cookery course. Yeah. So that's what the, we're doing on Sunday. Wow. Yeah. It's only a half day one because I thought the full day ones are a bit of a, a bit overkill sometimes. Oh. God, but it's just lazy together. brunch dishes. Yeah, we did it together. Of course we are, yeah. Oh, everybody loves a lazy brunch in this half-day fun course at the cookery school. Tasting new. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks oh. so fun. Oh, I actually meant to block the price out, but it, it printed the, the price out. out. <laughs> did I? I think so. No, that's the price as well, because the date's the 18th of December. Oh, I don't know how that how that oh happened. Um, so it should be really good fun. Thank you, darling. There we what go. Great. Okay. Thirsty boy. Our cluster of collections here. Um, okay, the only way to get to the original kitchen. We'll put this in there. In there. Mm. Is it a bit wonky? No, that's no, fine. Everything in this house is a bit wonky, mate. Okay, um, so the only way to get to the original kitchen is through here, mate. Why do we put on the Australian accent? I don't know. So, we, we love the Australians, so that's why. Um, right. New tablecloth arrived today from Delsford. Ooh, that's so that's for Christmas. And um, our Christmas themed colours, which are kind of the same Always every year, are dark and red and green, aren't they? Yeah. So we've got these nice dark red candles from, is it Scent Evil? Scent of Val. I think it's Cornish, actually. Yeah, it's like St. Ives. But they're a nice, a really nice sort of deep 
red colour. It's not great in this light, but I think that they will look really good. Look. Yeah. Look at that. We need to, when we go. go to our cookery course, we need to get the matching napkins. Okay. Well, we'll have the discount right. card. Because that's the beauty of Dalesford um, cookery course, actually. Because you get 25% off. Woo! What we got? <gasps> Harry Potter. Now this this is to use whenever we want. Originally, I was thinking we'd use it, but I don't think we'll use it this year. It's up to you, but I think I think maybe we save it for next Christmas. We want a brother studio tour. So we've done it before. Well, it's an open ticket, but obviously, you I the aim was that we'd use it for Christmas at Hogwarts, which we've not experienced. So I well, I think the best bet would actually be to save it for next year. No, we'll never do it. We will do it. No, we'd never do it. Okay, we'll chat about it later. We'll do it next week. Maybe. Well, I'll have to, I have to chat about it later. Okay. But, right, and then your final mm -hmm. one. Hang on, hang on. Diagonally! <laughs> Did he say diagonally? What was he meant to say? Diagonally. <laughs> right, come on, geek. Okay. And then, the last one is. The, the perfect seat for a summer snooze. I would say it's right here. Do you know what? I, I, I know this is a bit contentious, but I feel like it's because Dada's fallen asleep. Not there, actually. It might be over there. Oh, you can't have a nap on these. You can have a nap on them. No, you can't. Charles Dowding, a book on No Dig. You've not got that, have you? No, nope, I don't have it. And don't it's signed as well, mate. No, it's not. It is. Not there. Turn it. Hey, I mean it's only it's not a personal seat, it's just a signed That's book. So it's not cool. sadly he didn't write Dear Josie or That's anything. Awesome. I mean I probably could have messaged him. We don't know him personally well, though, do we? That's my Christmas reading sorted. Consider your climate, decide what to grow. The twelve types of soil carbon. Oh fascinating. fascinating. That sounds riveting. It genuinely is. How to yeah. sow seeds into modules. Sowing, growing, and harvesting, legumes. Are you quite are good quite the turnip, mate. Right, Dexter has just told me that the fish and chips is perfectly yes, warmed up in the Argo. And he's ready. Look at that handsome, handsome fellow. I like doing four advents in one, it's great fun. Well, it's only one a day from that one. Cool. There you go, mate. Chips! Right, chips. Super! <gasps> you got me curry sauce. I don't oh, know. I want, I want it. It's it's curry sauce. Sauce. Ooh, I'll have a little bit if that's all right. Oh, God, that's all right. Chips! Glorious chips, hot curry sauce, and mushy peas. Yum. So, for anyone who's not British, actually, I'd love to know if all other countries do fish and chips like this. If you're fish a fan of beige cod. food, well, actually, it's probably not cod, it might be haddock, hopefully. Mm. And then, no, you've got scampi on there as well. Mm. Super oh unhealthy, God. but super wholesome. And if you're in the Cotswolds, greedies. In Stow on the World. Best fish and chips in the country. Is the one you want to go to. The one in Morton is actually also pretty good. Yeah. We've only been there once, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, it's just we love the people in the mm. in Greedies as well. Yeah. Let me know down below your fish it's and chip It's Greedies order. and not Creedies, right? Greedy. Like, you're a greedy Some pig. Dexter yeah, doesn't really like chips. My fish and chip order is battered sausage and chips. And I like the skinny ones, like my perfect chip. To be fair. Yours, are, your perfect ones are always the ones that. stuck to the and curry hey, sauce. Yeah, you did a good, good job. Mm, and salt and vinegar.